and Sophie Baggerdine. Today I'm actually gonna run the mountain with Kim and um, you know that's jujitsu uh, and then I have MMA and then we have strength and conditioning so it's, it's gonna be a, a nice a nice morning. No, I've never fought at 115 before. Um, it, it's gonna be a good draw. Uh, I, now it's my turn to be you know the bigger the bigger girl. Kim's like, don't cheat on your diet. <laughs> so we're really uh, really helping me stay focused, but. I just, I, I want it to be as easy as it can be to get me on the 115. All right, you guys just saw what I did for breakfast and now you'll catch me on the mountain running my sprint. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, you know what? If I can make it through this, I know I can make it through any fight. I'm, I'm thinking, my opponent isn't training as hard as I am, and I'm, I'm very confident of that because I train very, very hard. Um, I'm training anywhere from six, seven, eight hours a day. Um, so definitely just knowing that if I make it to the top of the mountain, you know, I'm gonna get the same feeling at the end of my fight when I have my hand raised. Well, Sophia has just been a big ball of sunshine in my life. Um, it's great having her around. She's always so happy and so positive and full of, a, of big smiles. So no matter what's the situation, she works really hard and uh, has a good attitude towards everything. You know, Ashley Cummins uh, it will be fighting Sophie and Ashley's such a sweetheart. I've had the pleasure of commentating some of her fights and, and meeting her at Tough Enough and they're both tough as nails. So I predict that it's gonna be a, an all out war. What's up? It's Michelle Gutierrez. Welcome to the Gutierrez Girls household. I usually don't get off work until like two and then I go pick up from the babysitter. Then we wake up around 7.45, get her up, um, let her watch the TV for a minute. I get myself ready because I'm I won't come back home tonight until like 9.30. So I get all my clothes ready, um, get her some food, get her to school. Her school's like three minutes away, so it's really easy. Okay, so now that Gabby's at school, I have free reign to start training, so I'm off to training session number one. People always ask me why I choose to fight. I actually got this question last night um, from someone at my bar. I just feel like, uh, you know, it's it's empowering. It's the only thing that I could do on my own. Once that cage door shuts, it's, it's all me. And I need to prove to myself and to everyone else that always tells me that I shouldn't do it, that I can. I don't see her opponent being able to uh, beat her in any areas. I think Michelle's gonna be better at her at everything. And um, we should uh, make it a quick night. The sky's the limit for us, just, uh, you know, we just got to get in there and put the time in the gym, and and I, I think Michelle can be, you know, top ten woman, no problem. Hey, I'm Liz Carmouche, I'm here at San Diego Combat Academy, just got back from school, full day. And now I'm ready to get to training, teaching the kids MMA, and get about six hours into working out. Go to class in the morning for an hour, run over here to the gym, I take jujitsu, then I do MMA, I get a brief break maybe, <laughs> and then uh, I'm doing wrestling at four, teaching the kids MMA at five, and then a full load with boxing, Muay Thai, and more jujitsu. And that's the constant schedule, is just as much as I can all the time. When I had got out of the Marine Corps, towards the end of my career in the Marine Corps, I was just looking for something that would give me a challenge. I love a physical outlet. I always look for something that's gonna keep me on my toes, keep me guessing. And somebody suggested MMA and I decided to give it a try. Originally, I was just looking to have that little check in the box and just say that I did it. And within week one of sparring, my first week ever, I was hooked. Oh, from the gorilla? Uh, it's a few different things. One, it came from uh, doing crazy things off the cage, climbing, jumping, punching, whatever. And then I would just muscle stuff, get on top of them, and just start beating them like a gorilla. <laughs> so that's where it came from. My name's Matt Fort. Uh, I'm a wrestling coach, and uh, today we just worked a whole hour on hard wrestling, game plan wrestling, and she's doing awesome. Nobody in the world she can't beat or take down. 
Hi, I'm Jessica Penny. Coming in. This is Monster. Come on. Okay. His actual name is Ludo Monster, and I named him after the big misunderstood monster in the labyrinth, which is one of my favorite movies growing up. So I'm having a um, Ezekiel multigrain English muffin with some almond butter and some agave nectar. I wake up really early and I train at 6 a.m. for strength and conditioning with Corey Beasley because I have work at 8.30 and then I have to go train at about 10.15 over at range, so I have to get my day started early. So it's 5.40 and it's time to go do strength and conditioning, so I'm going to get ready and then we're going to head over to Costa Mesa at in the Bay Resort. person like everybody has the reason for competing or for doing what they do and yeah I have I have my reasons but I um, I don't know I'm just kind of shy and quiet about it and, you know. so you let your fighting do the talking for you I prefer that. that I mean that's why I train hard so I can you know perform well and make the people that you know train me and put their time and effort into be proud of me Hey, my name is Corey Beasley from Innovative Results, and uh, this morning we're working with Jessica Penny, and we're going through just a whole variety of different stuff to, you know, get her strong from head to toe and a variety of different angles, so that when she goes out for her fight, she's able to perform and and uh, dominate that opponent in every situation and position that she had encountered during that fight. So it's going to be 20 circuits all together. 10 inside, 10 outside. We're going outside. Yes. Go! When I'm training and getting ready for a fight, I'm pushing myself to my limits. Um, it's nice to know what the human body can do. You know, I definitely push myself really hard. Um, and my first coach, when I told him that I wanted to fight, laughed in my face. So that kind of lit the fire, and it just, it, that was my, my, my time right there. That was my time to prove to myself more than anybody else um, that I can do anything I set my mind to. My name is Dan McCulligan. I'm the strength conditioning coach for Juan Fight Team in Las Vegas. Each round lasted five minutes, and we did uh, five rounds for a total of 25 minutes. Very similar to how a professional fight would go, five five-minute rounds. A pleasure to work with her. As for guys, she keeps, keeps up with the guys every step of the way. I mean, her conditioning is awesome. Her strength is awesome. She never quits, and she fights her way through it. She's one of the best people on the whole team to work with, including guys or gals. She just does outstanding. You think you don't have anything left? You actually have a lot left. Obviously, yes, it is easy to quit. Um, but I'm not a quitter. You know, I've been through a lot my whole life. Um, you know, my dad is a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and um, there were days where I wanted to quit quit on, on life, quit on my family, quit on everything that's going on, but I'm not a quitter. I'm definitely not a quitter. I have a fight in me, and I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish within this sport, and this sport, there's actually a lot of, that I want to do with the sport and use my knowledge to help others, and um, I'm not quitting until I make it to the top. It's been hard not to just kind of throw the towel in. I've thought about it. I probably think about it 10 times a day. Like, why am I doing this? I could, my life would be so much easier if I just stopped. But I think if I stopped, there would be 
you know, a hole in my life and there would be, you know, something that I didn't finish. Like, I want to finish whether I have four more fights, two more fights, or ten more fights. I'm going to finish it out until I'm ready and, uh, you know, and then I'll stop. I guess there's no way of really saying it without being blunt, but like I just really, once I didn't have much respect for women's MMA, but I didn't give as much credit as it definitely deserves. Uh, uh, going to the fights around here, even like the amateur fights, like Tough Enough or whatnot, the girls' fights are usually the best fights of the night. Um, these girls go down there and throw down, and the technique is coming along, so uh, much respect to women's MMA. And, uh, the card she's fighting on is insane, should be huge for women's MMA. And uh, yeah, her, her hands are nasty. Uh, she messed tons of dudes up uh, on the feet, so very impressive. All right, this is Liz. Wrestling's all wrapped up. Time to go to Kids MMA. Last one done. Owes me. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Push. Hurry up. Uh, yeah, the Kids the kids MMA program uh, has actually been a lot of fun. Uh, it does test my patience, but out of everybody, nobody really wants to deal with the kids. And uh, I just kind of, they're like, hey, well, you're a chick. This, this has to be your thing. You have to deal with the, the kids. And I'm like, wait a second. This doesn't make any sense, but uh, I don't know how, but somehow I'm good with kids, and I always just figure, all right, rather than lose my patience, I'll just make them do more workouts, I'll make them do things they don't want to do, make them suffer if they're going to be a pain in the butt, and uh, it's paid off, but uh, the smiles, when something clicks in place with them, when they understand something, it, it makes two kids acting up worth it. I mean, as long as I know that one kid is having a good time and I see himself pushing them, pushing themselves, that makes up for all the lack of patience I had early, earlier in the class. <laughs> my mom's words of wisdom, uh, she had always instilled in myself and my sister the idea that there's no such thing as can't. The only person that can tell you can't, the only person that can give you restrictions in life and stop you is yourself. And as long as you don't set, any, set yourself any boundaries, you can't possibly give up. My little clan of uh, possible future MMA fighters. So I just finished my workout at Innovative Results with Corey Beasley. Um, felt really good this morning. Now I'm on my way to Long Beach LA Boxing to go teach some classes. It's hard sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I'd, I'd rather stay home and watch some TV. And sometimes when, you know, it gets tough in training, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's hard. But if it was, if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing to me, really. There's, there's no point in it if it's easy. I like doing things that, you know, nobody else really can do or has the motivation or the dedication to do. And I get through those workouts because I have really amazing coaches and teammates around me that, that don't let me. I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Great job today. Uh, my prediction for the fight, you know what? It's going to be an action-packed fight. It really is. I truly believe that Ashley and I are going to steal the show. Um, I don't think anyone realizes how scrappy we both are and um, how um, none of us are going to quit. I, I see that. You know, she, she, she obviously has a wonderful um, amateur record. She's 2-0 on her pro record. Um, I should be undefeated, but I fought someone that tested positive for steroids. Hey, you know what? That loss lit a fire, and, and I want it. I, everyone tells me to get it off my record, and I want it there because it reminds me that I'm human and I'm allowed to lose. And you know, I've learned the most from my from my losses. But I definitely think it's going to be a great fight, and, and you know, I'm, I'm ready to to throw down with her and then just shake her hand and maybe go have a drink with her after the fight. My predictions for my fight against Sarah Malloy, um, you know, obviously I think I can win. It's a definitely, it's definitely a winnable fight. Um, I am just going to go out there and, you know, my plan is to just leave it all in the cage. I am going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at her and if she gets out alive, I'll be surprised. Uh, 
I'm currently set up to fight Ashley Curry on April 28th. I know that uh, her background is uh, South Paul professional boxer, and uh, I'm looking forward to that after the Sarah Coffin fight. Uh, I expect that we'll probably go toe to toe, but I'm looking to capitalize on my wrestling background that I've been utilizing and uh, ground and pound my submission game. I'm looking to use all that in this fight. Uh, my opponent is Lisa Ward. Um, she's a veteran. She's been fighting since before I've been fighting, and she is a wrestler and a tough girl, and um, I'm really looking forward to the challenge. I love kids. Um, I feel like whenever I'm with them, I kind of become a big kid myself, and uh, the kids really love me. And 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 I have a, I mean, I have a lot of little kids that, that just cling on to me. But two two little girls that I absolutely adore. Um, they're well known in the in the in, you know in the sport in, in women's MMA. I mean, they probably get more press than I do. They're they're awesome little Elijah and uh, Courtney. Uh, they're my babies, I love them, you know. I, I feel like whenever they're competing, my kids are competing. And to be honest with you, I don't have any children, but I just get so attached to them. Um, one day, I definitely want to use the sport and work with kids. Um, one of my dreams is to help troubled teens. Um, use the sport to help guide them, stay off the streets, to, to, to you know, give them um, an organized place to, to get their frustrations out. And I know what the sport did for me, and I know what it can do for many kids. Yeah, she went to one of my tournaments, so awesome. She gave me lots of good compliments, so I felt really good to have her come with me. Come with me. Um, there's a fight coming up with, between Ashley and, and Sophie, so I'm going for both because they're both my friends. I don't think she realizes it right now, but I think when she's older, she's going to look back and be like, holy sh**, my mom, like, was a professional fighter, she was in video games, like she paid all the bills herself. She just doesn't get it yet. She just turned six, she's too young, you know. Right now she just thinks I'm like stressed out all the time, but she doesn't understand why, but she'll get it because I, I realized that about my mom, you know, later in life. And I read an article saying that it's, you know, imperative that I win this fight because this is my last chance. And in my head, I'm thinking, you know, I just, I basically just started out, like I'm new to MMA, you know? I've only had five fights, so how is this my last chance? It's not like I'm 45 and, you know, fighting for, you know, still trying to fight. You know, I'm, I'm not old, I just started pretty much, so I don't see how this is my last chance. Nope, still not done yet, still have BJJ and uh, some more after that. This is really tough, and and furthermore, she's she's natural. She's a natural athlete. You know what I mean? That's she has everything that you want in a student. You know what I mean? She's a fucking killer. She's one of a kind, dude. I mean, like like I never have to tell her to run or to, to do any particular workout. She's already on it. She's all over. She's on top of it. She's got discipline. She's got the determination. She's got the devotion to the sport. If it was for, for Liz, I wouldn't have been able to get the other guys to the next level. You know, Liz forces everyone to be at their best. I don't, know, I don't mind it. I, I'm doing this because I like it enough I have to, you know, drive whatever distance I'll drive it. Um, I, I don't mind being alone. I'm kind of a solitary person. Like, I like my alone time. She works really hard. She's always in the gym, you know. She's just a good, uh, she's a good gal. She's a good person to be around. But she works really hard, and uh, you know, I think it's what a lot of people in here notice about her is her work ethic. 
her skill set across the board. She's like one of the most complete mixed martial artists in the sport, period. You know, guy or girl. Wrestling, striking, boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, everything is just complete, you know? So I'm excited to see her fight again and uh, prove why she's one of the best in the world. Uh, Jessica Penne is someone that works extremely hard. She wears her heart on her sleeve. So a lot of times in practice, I see her and she's just working her butt off. She's working harder than anybody in the room. And um, it just, it's, it's that type of energy that people feed off of. And I, I had the pleasure to coach her and see her develop and um, to, into, into becoming a more well-rounded fighter. And, you know, I love taking somebody that has a heart, will, and determination and turning them into someone that, you know, can, can become a champion and will become a champion in Jessica Penny. Um, I've just, I've just always had a soft spot in my heart for pit bulls. I think they're amazing animals, extremely loyal, and um, I think they have a really bad rap. And I have had pit bulls in the past. Um, I'll always have pit bulls. Um, I have, you know, my love monster. And then um, I just met my new addition to the family um, earlier at training today. So I'm really excited to meet her and get her over here. One, two, three, two, um, I'm really super excited about the inception of this new female fight league, Invicta. It's going to be an awesome opportunity for all these women fighters to kind of showcase their skills in an all-female environment without the pressures of we have to compete with the men. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing that uh, Shannon and Janet have put together this organization that's going to actually bring to light the actual depth and talent that there is in women's mixed martial arts. I think with Invicta, what they're trying to do is great. I mean, uh, as we're seeing, there's more and more girls coming into the sport. And, uh, you know, the, the only incentives for more girls to keep joining and, and get out there and start doing the sport of MMA, they have to have an outlet. I think that this is the best thing to come along for women's MMA, basically because they have put a lot of thought and care behind this promotion to make sure that it will be a continued force for females. And I believe that the people that are behind it are, are going to run it smart and they're going to give females a chance to showcase their abilities. And I do believe now is the time for females to step up their game and step up at their, in their training because now they have a cage of their own. So no more complaints about not having a place to fight. That's my thoughts. I'm very happy. I think you have a lot of guys give you opportunity for all women fighting. And yeah, I'll be there. I want to watch the exciting fights. I'm very happy. Um, at the end of the day, I just want to be known as a great person. I want to be, I want to be seen as a role model. Um, I, I'm not one to talk crap. I'm not one to bring people down. I'm not one to start drama. Um, I'm always smiling, even in my face-offs. Like, I don't get all up and close and personal in people's face. I, you know, I'm always smiling. I definitely want to help people, and I just want to be recognized for that. Um, I'm happiest when, when I'm making others happy, and uh, I really can't wait to, to get my foundation going and, and just to give back. I definitely want to be remembered as a good fighter. Um, I want to be remembered as someone who, you know, helped women in the in the MMA game, you know, open doors. And I think I've done that with the video game and some of the other things I've done this past year. Um, it's it's definitely important to me. I want to be remembered as you know a door opener and a game changer. And you know, I hopefully you know I can do that. Uh, I think. Partially, I do care about how, at the end of the day, how people are going to view me. But, I mean, everybody's going to have their, their own opinions, and we have the rights to that. I would hope that they would see my athleticism. I hope they see how much I've progressed each fight and see that I have a lot of heart and I have a lot of talent and I'm not somebody to be looked down upon or underestimated. I would like to be remembered for my work ethic and that I am, you know, a good competitor, but at the same time, like, I think it's hard to get to know somebody just through fighting, and I don't want to be just um, <clears throat> categorized as just a fighter. 